What's going on everybody, Manufactured Opinion here, and welcome back to my Skyrim playthrough slash guide. And today I'm going to be bringing you what I consider to be the best possible equipment you can get for a warrior. Um, I'm going to do, specifically I'm going to be doing a heavy armor um, two-handed axe, but the enchantments I'm going to be putting on my um, armor are going to be are very in, easily interchangeable. So um, for the beginning, I'm pretty sure most of you have probably seen, shut up! I'm pretty sure most of you have seen um, how to stack potions, enchanting potions to get um, the highest level smithing potion to make the best possible armor you can make. Um, a little tip that I don't see on many videos is your armor caps out at 567. So if you're going to make anything above um, an armor rating of 567, you're not really giving yourself any additional defense. So start out with that. You're also going to want um, 100 smithing. Um, 100 enchanting and preferably 100 alchemy um, since armor caps out at 567 you don't necessarily need 100 alchemy but you definitely need 100 enchant to be able to put two enchantments on one um, piece of armor so anyways let's dive right in here <coughs> so I started off by making um, four pieces of equipment uh, helmer, helmet bracers uh, ring and a necklace with fortify alchemy and you're going to want two more sets of that. Um, so you're going to want two more bracers, two, two more helmets, two more rings, two more necklaces. Because we're going to be making uh, lots, lots of armor. And you're going to also want your final armor as well. I'm not going to be putting the enchantment on my axe just in case I want to use Elemental Fury. So now we got that out of the way. So once you make your first set of equipment here with 25% more powerful... Um, Fortify Alchemy. You're also going to need Grand Soul Gems. Get about 12 to 15 Grand Soul Gems depending on what you're putting um, enchantments on. I don't have a, a ring or a um, necklace with me so I won't be enchanting that but I'll, I'll give you some good enchantments for that a bit later at the end of this video. I just want to get this this part out, out of the way as quickly as possible. So once you have this gear on you're going to want to go over to the Alchemy Lab and ingredients you're going to need. You're going to need Blister Wart, Blue Butterfly Wing, you're going to need glowing mushrooms, a hag raven claw, <laughs> raven claw, um, saber cat tooth, snow berries, spring and sap, and I believe that's it. If I miss something, I miss something. So we're going to start off by making fortify enchant potions, and what we're going to want is blue butterfly wing, hag raven claw, and snow berries. Nope. And there we go. Fortify Enchant. And I'll make two here. So with these new potions, we're going to want to come over here and enchant um, our second set of armor. Must concentrate. Let's see, now it's 28% more powerful. Take another potion here. You're just going to go through this whole process. It's hard for me to talk and focus on this at the same time. Multitasking, not necessarily my forte. Okay, so we got a new armor. We're going to want to put that on. Uh, the ring, bracers, and helmet. Okay, now we're going to want to go over here and finish off all your ingredients. Um, I suggest 10 of each. Uh, when it comes to glowing mushroom and saber cat tooth, uh, you're not going to be able to find those as easy. Um, glowing mushrooms are in wherever the Falmer, wherever Falmer caves are, so those are pretty, those are pretty, um, easy to find. Saber cat teeth, not so much so. And, and in fact, you don't even need to get saber cat teeth if you don't want to. Um, glowing mushrooms is, is just fine. So anyways, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here. Because that's for, uh, that's for fortify smithing potions. Anyways, I'm going to finish off these potions here. And now we have potions that are 32% stronger. 
the highest level fortify enchanting potions you can get in the game. So now we're going to come back here and grab our last set of armor, our last set of leather armor, um, and put fortify alchemy and fortify enchant on them. I mean fortify smithing on them. Um, you can't do that combination on the helmet, so you're just going to have to do it on bracers, necklace, and ring. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, don't forget to take your potion. And just the same thing as before. Except without the helmet, of course. And with smithing. See how they're now 29% more powerful, both of them? And this guy didn't shut up. Alright. Now with that, you want to put that set of armor on. We'll come over here. Put on this armor real quick. Keep the helmet on too. And we're going to make Fortify Smithing Potion. Now that's Blister Wart. I recommend Blister Wart, um, Glowing Mushroom, and what's the last one? I know I just said it. Blister Wart. Oh, Spriggan Sap. Glowing Mushroom. Spriggan Sap. Make another one. Um, then we're going to want... I'm going to make four. Two should be just enough to get th get you through it, but... Um, and look at that. 130% better smithing potions. Highest smithing potion in the game. Okay, so now that we have those, we're going to want to go down to a forge. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to want to put enchantments on our... We're going to want to use our and fortify enchanting potions that we made a little bit earlier to put um, some of the best enchantments on our armor. I'm not going to do that here. I'm going to show you at the end of this video just so I can kind of explain why I chose um, certain enchantments and interchangeable enchantments that you can put on your armor. Um, and I can't necessarily do that while I'm trying to focus on uh, on picking them and quickly since I don't have a lot of potions here. So I will meet you down at the forge and I will explain all of that. Be right back, guys. Okay, so once you have your 130% um, better smithing potions, you're going to want to come down to a forge. You're going to want to pop one of those potions. And you get out of the way. No, I, d I haven't. Oh my god. She's already ruined the video. You want to pop one of those potions, and you're going to want to upgrade each piece of your armor, whatever it may be. If it's Daedric, make sure you have uh, enough ebony ingots to upgrade them. And your armor should come out looking something like this. I have my uh, my enchantments here, which I will explain uh, in a second. And just go ahead and do that with your potions. Come over to the, the grindstone. Do the same thing with the grindstone. And you will have brand new, uh, <laughs> very overpowered armor. Um, I probably won't be using this set, but it's fun to just run around with, run around in every once in a while. So, right, let me explain the enchantments. Um, what I believe to be the best the best enchantments for warriors. So here we have armor. I decided to go with stamina and increase health. Um, depending on what you want to do, you could go with fortify uh, heavy armor, fortify health instead, or maybe fortify heavy armor, uh, fortify stamina. But I have such a large health pool that, you know, I don't even, in my armor rating so high already, I decided not even to waste, um, waste fortify heavy armor on, on that particular piece. Um, if you're using a shield, I highly recommend Fortify Health and some kind of Resist Magic, whether it be Resist uh, resist Frost, Fire, Shock. Um, onto my boots, um, I did Stamina and Two-Handed Attacks. Um, if you're a One-Handed Warrior, you can interchange Two-Handed Attacks with, um, with Fortify Two-Hand with Fortify One-Hand. Um, and Stamina, I'm a Two-Handed Warrior, so I, I need all the Stamina I can get. Gauntlets, I just went with just one uh, Fortify two-handed attacks. Um, you can also put Fortify heavy armor on those if you would like. And once again, if you're a one-handed warrior, uh, Fortify two-handed would be replaced with that. 
And as you can see on my helmet here, I have put nothing on my helmet. Um, the enchantments for helmets are pretty crappy. I don't use magic and I don't use archery that much. Those are the two best that I've found when you're putting on when you're using an enchantments on your helmet. So if, if that works for you guys, uh, fortify magicka, fortify archery on the helmet is, is perfect for that kind of build. And um, jewelry. I don't have my jewelry on me at the moment. But I found that the best combination for jewelry is definitely fortify health and fortify, or pardon me, um, resist any type of magic. So fortify health and resist shock, say on the ring, and fortify health, uh, resist frost on the necklace. And <laughs> with with those enchantments, guys, and with this armor, you really are you really are the ultimate warrior. I have to warn you that. This makes the game just insanely easy, which is why I, I stated earlier that I probably won't be, be using this too much unless I just want to kind of dick around, you know. So yeah, I hope this guy I hope this guide helped you guys. Um, at least if you don't want the overpowered armor to you know kind of test out the enchantments and see what what, what works best best with your build. So yeah, um, let me know how you like the video. Let me know how your armor is treating you. And as always, have fun in Skyrim, and I'll see you around, everybody. Bye bye.